Hello all, welcome again. Please subscribe to our channel if you did not subscribe our channel by clicking subscribe button and press bell icon for your personal notifications. If you like this video, please kindly like it after we finish up. So today it's the series of STM32 H7 LTDC. LTDC is the topic that is LCD TFT display control. So in this we will look at an overview of LTDC uh, controller as well as key features, flexible parameters available there and LCD TFT block diagram, LTDC clock domain, LTDC programmable timings, LTDC signals and then pixel data mapping versus color format, pixel format conversions and then collect or palletized color. So layer programmable parameters and layer programmable, I mean <coughs> uh, LTDC interrupts and low power modes and application examples and related peripherals if at all we need to understand. So let's quickly jump on to the uh, LCD TFT standard that is uh, liquid crystal display, thin film uh, transistor. The controller is highly configurable and interfaces with um, with standard parallel RGB interfaces. RGB interfaces. The benefits of LCD TFT display controller includes flexible programmable display parameters, integrated pixel format converter, and blender altogether. Okay. Uh, the LCD TFT display controller frame buffer can be located either in on chip memory or in external memory depending on the panel resolution. We spoke about FMC and uh, Quad SPN or previous stuff. We can make use of that for buffer, frame buffers. Okay. So some of the key features are 24 bit uh, uh, parallel digital RGB that is red green blue interface with additional signals for horizontal and vertical synchronization. LTDC is master on AXI bus matrix and can access internal memories like internal flash, SRAM1, SRAM2 or external memories via FMC or quad SPA interfaces. It features also a dedicated 64 double word FIFO, first in, first out, per layer. It supports programmable timings and polarity parameters to interface with a wide range of display panels. Like VSync width, VB, VBP, HBP, VFP, etc. So you can see the difference between timing, uh, timings and polarity and uh, let's move on to the uh, flexible parameters available in LTDC. The LTDC offers flexible programmable parameters allowing to support a wide variety of display panels, programmable display size, example QVGA, WQVGA, VGA, programmable background color. 24-bit RGB value programmed in LCD controller register LC, LTDC underscore BCCR used for blending with bottom layer. Multi-layer support with blending. Two layers di dithering <coughs> two bits per color channel that is 2 comma 2 comma 2 for RGB. The dithering pseudo random technique is used to add a small random value or threshold value to each pixel color change R, G, R, B values. Thus uh, rounding up the most significant bits in some cases when displaying 24 bit data on an 18 bit display. New programmed values can be loaded immediately at runtime or during vertical <coughs> blanking. <coughs> so, 
So let's quickly move on to the block diagram. So how it gets, uh, how the things work, we'll just look at LCD panel and all those stuffs. This is the block diagram. You have an APB interface and AXI interface. So <clears throat> configuration and the status register for APB interface, synchronous timing generation, blending, dithering happens in one block and PFC of AXA master interface FIFO and 50 FIFO layer one and layer two and blending. And then we have signals like LCD clock, head sync, V sync, D and R, G, B, seven is to zero to LCD panel. So three clock domains or AXA clock domain, A clock, APB is P, uh, P clock and uh, PCLC. Okay. And the pixel clock domain is an LCD underscore CLK. Okay. So <clears throat> we need to understand the programmable timings also after knowing this clocks, right? VPB is vertical back porch. This is how the programmable timing <laughs> looks like. Okay. VPB is a vertical back, back porch. VFP is front porch. HBP is back porch horizontal and HFP is a uh, front porch horizontal and uh, uh, H-Sync is horizontal synchronization and V-Sync is vertical synchronization. These timings come from the data sheet of the display. Example has been given here. You just look into the simple minimum type, maximum and units. The LTDC output signals are summarized in upcoming table, just like this. Okay. 8 bit red data, 8 bit green data, and 8 bit blue data. The unused pins can be used for other purposes. So, now the main question comes like how do we do pixel data mapping and what is it and how does it? Uh, uh, be compared with the color formats. The programmable pixel format is used for data stored in the frame buffer of a layer. This table describes the pixel data mapping versus the selected input for color format. You can see RGB here. So all the formats on the left, ARGB, double eight double eight and that is direct color formats or ARGB double eight double eight. So totally you can see eight programmable in input color formats per layer. ARGB eight 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 RGB triple eight RGB five six five ARGB one five 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 uh, ARGB double four double four or the direct color uh, formats and indirect color or L8 AL44 AL88 so L8 contains 8 bit luminescence or CLUT you can call it as CLUT CLUT AL44 will have 4 bit alpha 4 bit luminance AL88 will have 8 bit alpha 8 bit luminance so let's look at uh, pixel format conversion in depth. When the color format of a bitmap is converted into another one, this operation is called pixel format conversion. You can see in, the, in this diagram, bit position and uh, so input pixel format is RGB565 in this case and uh, ARGB is 8888 internal pixel format conversion. How does it convert? <coughs> so to explain the pixel data much better the pixel data is read from 
frame buffer and then transform to internal ARGB AA88 format as follows. Components which have a width of less than 8 bits get expanded to 8 bits by I mean 8 bits by bits replication. The 8th eight, most uh, most significant bits are chosen. 8 most significant bits are chosen. Note that conversion from direct color to indirect color or uh, from indirect color to direct color is easy to do. But converting a direct color to an indirect color would mean regenerating a color lookup table or a clut which is very complex operation. Okay. So clut means color lookup table. Let's see a, cl a clut palletized color up to 256 entries per layer. So in this case, in case of an indexed color to for L8, AL44 and AL88 input pixel formats, it supports up to 256 entries per layer. The frame buffer contains an index value for the each pixel. The clut has to be loaded with R, G and B values that will replace the original RGB values of the pixel, I mean indexed color. Each color that is RGB value has its own address which is position within the clut. You can see in this picture 8 bit per pixel and indirect coding. So how about layer programming now? <clears throat> Flexible window position and size configuration in layer pro programming. E every layer can be positioned and resized. So this is how we can do it. E every layer can be positioned and resized. The programmable layer the position and size define the first or last visible pixel of a line and first or last visible line in the window. It allows to display either the full image frame or only a part of the image frame. Let's dig bit deeper. Let's first see frame buffer configurations. Every layer has config uh, configurable <clears throat> number of lines and line length for the color frame buffer and the pitch. The pitch is the distance between the start of one line and the beginning of the next line in bytes. These parameters are expressed in bytes, not in pixels. So their values depend on the number of bits per pixel. The line length and the number of lines parameters are used to stop the prefetching of data from the layer. FIFO at the end of the frame buffer. How about multi-layer blending then? So LTDC features configurable blending factors which we discussed in at the starting of this presentation. The blending order is fixed and it is bottom up. You can see the figure over here. If two layers are enabled, layer 1 is first blended with background color, then layer 2 is blended with the result of previous blending. <coughs> so how about default color configuration? Each layer ha can have default color in ARGB format which is used outside the defined layer window or when a layer is disabled. Tricky use case or layer 1 is enabled, L2 is disabled with the default color black. Okay. If blending factor is set to constant alpha is equal to 0xff that means no image is displayed. Only the black window 
is displayed default color of layer 2 is black <coughs> to bypass the default color set the blending factor to transparent that is alpha equal to 0x00 so color keying is one more important thing and color key RGB can be configured to be representative for a transparent pixel. If color keying is enabled, the color pixel, uh, the current pixels after format conversion and before blending are compared to the color key. If they match for the programmed RGB value, all channels ARGB of that uh, of that pixel are set to zero. The color key value can be configured and used at runtime to replace the pixel RGB value. Color keying is enabled through LTDC underscore LX KCRR register. <coughs> so let's quickly move on to the interrupts available in for LTDC there are four uh, four interrupts events available line interrupt which is generated when a programmed line position is reached a register reload reload interrupt that is generated when the shadow is I mean when the shadow registers are reloaded during the vertical blanking period FIFO underrun interrupt that means first in first out underrun interrupt is generated when a pixel is requested from an empty layer FIFO transfer error interrupt is generated when an AXA bus error occurs during the data transfer let's quickly move on to the low power modes ltdc is active in run and sleep mode as usual a ltdc interrupt can cause the device to exit sleep mode a device is not able to perform any communication in stop and standby modes as usual and some of the applications of uh, home appliance including connectivity and hmi is given here graphic applications require high quality user interface this can be achieved using the stm32 h7 to connect the display thanks to lcd tft controller in addition the fmc or quad spi interface may be used to access an external flash memory containing all of the graphical contents needed such as background images high resolution icons or fonts to support multiple languages type it here man okay. so related peripherals for ltdc or r6c that is reset and clock control and general purpose ios you can go through the <coughs> upcoming trainings regarding that thank you for your time in this session you have learnt or went through the overview of LCD TFT, key features, LTDC flexible parameters, LT, I mean LCD TFT block diagram and uh, LTDC clock domain, LTDC programmable timings and uh, LTDC signals, pixel data mapping versus, uh, versus uh, color formatting, uh, pixel format conversion and CLUT palletized color that is color lookup table and palletized color and layer programmable parameters in that within the layer programmable parameters you went through color frame buffer configuration multi-layer blending and default color configuration so <clears throat> apart from that in layer programmable parameters you went through a um, this thing called transparent color or color keying uh, using ltdc underscore lxcr register 
and then we went through all the four interrupts namely line register reload fifo underrun and transfer error error interrupts and low power modes thank you for your time hope this is useful if you like this video please click like button and subscribe if you did not subscribe thank you